All right, Desert Punk here for MGPH.net. I'm going to show you how to exactly use the Save Editor mod. Uh, it, it's a, it's not a cheat engine, but its own application. Uh, you just go to the website, MPGH.net, and here it is. This is uh, who ran it, uh, Techno Jacker. Um, it is used at your own risk. It is yet again a hack for a Borderlands 2. I'm just going to show you exactly how to uh, how to run it and how to do it. So so here he has videos on how to mod the guns, powerful modded guns, and uh, pearlescent weapons that are in the DLC map pack. So what you want to do is you want to register on the website. Once you've registered just clicked Gibbet Borderlands 2. It should be, I believe it's Gibbets. Yeah, Gibbet or Gibbets. Uh, Borderlands 2 Save Editor Arth 133. Once you save it, it's going to scan for viruses. You know what to do. Uh, so here it is. I've already downloaded it. I've already um, extracted it. So you just click Extract. It'll extract to its own folder. Okay. Uh, I've already ran it, so this is pretty much what it looks like. It'll start open with a fresh, pretty much raw, new file. You're just going to click open. You're going to go to your save data fo folder, which is pretty much um, mine's in my documents. So user, documents, my games, Borderlands 2, uh, Willow games, save data. You're going to see a bunch of numbers. That's just where your folder's at. It's your personal ID for all your save. Um, so we're going to go save, you know, 0003. That's my Mecromancer. Um, so she's level 50. We're going to go our bank, and here's all of our stuff that I was able to put in so far. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, conference calls. So we're just going to paste a, uh, why don't we just paste a fire one? So here's a fire one. We're just going to copy the code that's listed below. Once we've copied that code, we're just going to paste it in here. Okay. If you're already in a game, just uh, just click quit. Because you don't want to you don't want to save that file, and then go and quit because it'll automatically save over it. So we're just going to save first and quit. We're going to go back into the the Gibbs editor, um, save save editor. Okay. So we 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 put the fire conference call on there. Um, I believe it's. This one right here, fire. Yep. And we're just going to hit save. We're going to go back into our save data folder. We're going to go back over to the 0003. Hit save. And there we go. And once you go back into Borderlands 2, just make sure you go to select character. Reselect your character so it refreshes the page. Hit continue. And once you've gotten into the town, I'm very sorry if it is laggy or somewhat sketchy uh, just make sure you go back in the sanctuary go to your bank or you can put it in your backpack and put it in your bank um, you know it, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to understand uh, a little bit more difficult where it comes to modding your own weapons compared to where it's just pasting a code that somebody else has modded already for you or has already uh, found the IP to that certain weapon the ID number uh, so we're just gonna go to our bank and there it is fire take it out we can use it and here it is oh not that one oh not that one I already had it on me and here it is so we have our fire weapon okay and this is if it, as long as it's not modded you are able to sit there and uh, you can just quit the game and go right back into it and it'll stay in your equipment uh, area if it's a modded weapon you gotta leave it in your bank or else it will disappear modded weapons modded relics or modded I don't know if you can actually mod relics but modded um, uh, pretty much just weapons I believe it's all you uh, you can really mod I, I've, oh yeah, and the shields like the B shield you can mod the B shield so anything that has to do with modding whatsoever changes the output of the damage or changes the like uh, the accuracy or the the weapon damage that's extra percentage you know you're gonna have to keep that in your bank or else it will disappear 
And um, yeah, just very simple. Um, if you have any questions, you just go ahead and um, just message uh, Desert Punk, which is myself right here at mpgh.net. And just let me know if you have any other questions.